Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here to conclude the group stage. So yeah, this video will officially conclude the group stage round for my tournament. And then the real fun begins. So we still got four spots left to fill. So up first in this video, we are going to see Dragon Destroyer going up against Dan Saurus. Then we will see Asta taking on Shin Dominus. And we will conclude the group stage with Blood Moon going up against Red Bean Ice Cream. So yeah. Big contest, big contest here. So as it stands, it would be Dragon Destroyer going up against Silver Knights, Blood Moon going up against Khalid, Aster going up against Dino Hug, and then Dan Saurus taking a crack at Try. But that's it, all that can change. So let's get on with our first match, shall we? Well, this is a big game, really big game for Dan Saurus. Oh. Right, in the red corner for Dragon Destroyer, we have got an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus in the Alpha Arena. And you know what that means, don't you? Yes, this Alpha Acrocanthosaurus is going to have terrain advantage. Backing up the Acro, we've got the Super Triceratops. Dragon Destroyer has made it 4 out of 4 so far in this tournament, and will probably make it 5 out of 5 based on this arena. But let's not count Mr. Saurus out yet. I mean, the, the saving grace for Dan Saurus is that they don't have to win this match. Ideally, they need to, but they don't have to win. Right, in the blue corner, we've got the useless Saurophagonix. Well, it needs to prove it's worth in this matchup. Otherwise, Dan Saurus could be heading home. I will say, a win for Dan Saurus will put them in a very strong position to get out this group. A bonus point win, I think, will probably put them through. Backing up the, backing up the uh, Sora Faganax, we got the Kralophosaurus, which has basically done all the work. But yeah, the Sora Faganax has to step up. It's got to step up here. Okay, he's going to get hit by Rock first. Because of the terrain advantage, so Acro does get the first hit, and it's a fire cannon. Oh no! Yeah. Okay, it's not in the yellow yet, so Sorofagnax won't attempt the swap. Oh my god, it's gonna happen again, isn't it? This Sorofagnax just cannot catch a break. It genuinely can't catch a break. It has just been... just... smoked by whatever is faced in this tournament. Oh, here comes a uh, volcano burst. Oh, it doesn't look good for Dan Saurus. Call Sora Falconax, get a hit! Oh my god, it's, it's gonna die again, it's gonna die, in it? Come on, Falconax, you could do it, you could do it. Yes, he gets the next hit! You know, I'm, I'm so happy for the Sora Falconax, it gets to live to fight another day. It gets the swap out. I'm sorry, Dragon Destroyer, it's nothing personal, but I just wanted that Falconax to get that hit so it doesn't die instantly again. Ooh, Kralophosaurus getting the next hit. Dansaurus going back into this contest. Now he does need to kill this Acrocanthosaurus so, so it doesn't get any more terrain advantage. So this next hit is crucial. Dansaurus needs to stop this swap. Oh, if he doesn't, then it's a crit as well. Oh, that could be costly. Volcano burst as well. Oh, how costly could that be? Needed to stop that swap. Right, now we've got the Awaken mode to worry about. Tie. Another tie. Another tie, and that's gonna kill the cryo. Yeah, it's, uh, that, that's actually guaranteed that Dan, the um, Dragon Destroy is going to make it 2 out of 2, and in fact, he gets the Awaken mode. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Another tie. And another tie. And that is 5 out of 5 for Dragon Destroyer and Dansaurus licking their wounds. Well, at least, you kind of put up a fight, but yeah, the, 
the big moments went Dragon Destroyer's way. And yep, that confirms that Dragon Destroyer wins this group. Right, we'll have a look at the table and move on to our next matchup. Well, there you have it, folks. Dragon Destroyer topping Group H there. Five points clear of Blood Moon. Blood Moon cannot catch them now. And in fact, 16 points will overtake Tri's record of 15. So that means Dragon Destroyer, not only have they won five out of five, but they've also racked up the most points in the group stage out of any, but any other combatant. So yeah, looking really strong going into the last 32 round. But we still have other matters to deal with first regarding third and fourth. Well, anything for Asta, any form of points for Asta will put them through, whether it's a losing bonus point, a draw, a win, a bonus point win, any of those results will put Asta through. But a win for a win for Shin Dominus will put them up to seven points. Four points clear of Red Bean Ice Cream, but they have the head-to-head -head over Red Bean Ice Cream. So yeah, actually, yeah, a win for Shin Dominus will put them through and knock Dan Saurus and Red Bean Ice Cream out of the tournament. Yeah, this is big. This is a big contest. And that is a very good field. Well, it's a, it's a mixed bag if you're Aster. Because this Decreosaurus will have terrain advantage. Well, a win for Aster here will end Shin Dominus's stay in this tournament. And it will give Dan Saurus a huge sigh of relief. Backing up the Decreosaurus, we got the Anatotype and the Terrain Disadvantage, so it could be a problem here. But yeah, I feel like this is the match, because honestly, I don't think Red Bean Ice Cream is going to beat Blood Moon. Right, in the blue corner, for Shin Dominus, we got Omega Eokarkiria. Shin Dominus, surprising, kind of surprisingly not doing too well, but they have... They have been unlucky in, in most of their matches. They have come up short in a few, so... Yeah. Could have gone their way, but they haven't. But a win here will put them through. Right, backing up the, the um, Eocarcaria, we got the Eoraptor, which has turned into a Margosaurus. Which could be a massive problem for Aster, because when Eocarcaria gets a hit, we're going to see some shot waves. Of course, with a terrain advantage, the Decreosaurus will get the first hit, which will be a rock hit. Both dudes want to swap when HP's in the red, so we could be in for the long haul. Type advantage and terrain advantage could be key for Aster here. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Of course, as I said, all Aster needs is at least a losing bonus point to go through, so they don't even have to win this match. But I'm sure they'll want to to make it more comfortable. Tie. Tie recovery effect there where we see only drama. That's another tie. Oh, is the Okarkiria getting the next hit? There's a crit. The type advantage will spear to... Well, it should spear the damage, but... Here's the big problem for Asta. The Shockwave. Okay, so that means Eokarkiria will be going for yet another crit. Ooh, but he doesn't get it there. Asta dodging the bullet. And getting a stomping hammer. Have taking the lead. It's been an even start so far. Both our guys getting off hits early on. Okay, Eokark area. It's time to attempt the swap. Ooh, and he gets it. Eokark area gets the swap out, which could be key because our bar is filling up as well. Oh, he's done even better. He's got the flare sword, which kills. The Decreosaurus! Oh, is that a massive moment? Because now Anata Titan comes in with terrain disadvantage so that so the Amargosaurus, well Eoraptor, will get the next hit. Oh, how massive could that be for Shin Dominus and how damaging that could be if you Dansaurus. Wow, that was a lot! 400!
Oh, that's a tie. Okay, no tie move, no ocean panic to worry about. But Shin Dominant, I feel, has turned the screw. Oh, no, maybe not. Hit from the Anata Titan. But yeah, the damage will be limited because of that defense boost, attack burst, and technique boost. Similar to Dino Smash's moveset. But it works a lot better with uh, Eoraptor because his technique is like 3,000, it's stupidly high. What? Oh, the damage! Where'd that come from? Oh, hang on. Is the Nata Titan dead? Volcano Burst coming in. Oh, look at that! Shit, Dominus on the brink of winning. And that's the win! A bonus point win, which will actually put them above Aster in the table. And at the same time, knock out Dan Soros and Red Bean Ice Cream. Wow, a massive result for Shin Dominus there, and they will go through to the last 32 round. Right, let's have a look at the group after that, and we can move on to our final match of the group stage. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, this is probably how the final table will look. And yeah, that result for Shin Dominus does mean that Dan Soros and Red Bean Ice Cream are going to be going out. And yeah, top four will... Well, is going to be as as it, as it is now. So yeah, this next matchup is really kind of a throwaway, to be honest. It's a toss-up. Will Blood Moon continue their um strong form going into the last 32 round, or will Red Bean Ice Cream on the fifth and final attempt of Askin get a win? Ooh, we're in the uh, uh, we're in the arid field, right in the red corner for Blood Moon. We got a T-Rex. Blood Moon already through, already securing second place, which means they got a match against Khalid to look forward to in the last 32 round. Ooh, that's interesting because he's in the little bracket with Ultimate Dino King. Yeah, and Iron Dan, that's going to be a really tight bracket. Backing up the T Rex, we got Dynonicus. <coughs> Although I will say, Blood Moon should have beat Dragon Destroyer in round 3. That should have been Blood Moon's win. So they should really be fighting for top, but there we go. Right, in the blue corner for Red Bean Ice Cream, we got the Apatosaurus. I have to say, Red Bean Ice Cream been terribly unlucky in this tournament. The first three matches, they got three losing bonus points. You know, they were agonizingly close to winning the first three games. And if had they done that, they would be in a very different situation. So yeah, even though they've yet to win in this tournament, they can count themselves Desperately unlucky. But can they get a win? Can they finish their tournament on a high? Or will they be the only combatant in this tournament to not win? Because everyone else has picked up at least one win so far in this tournament. It would be a tragedy to see Red Bean not win a match in this tournament, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, we start with a tie. Uh, okay, Blood Moon wants to swap when HP's below half. Red Bean in the red. Ooh, and it is Red Bean Ice Cream getting the first hit on the board. Boosh, elemental power coming in as well. Oh, oh, here comes Burning Dash. <laughs> oh dear, here comes that iconic crit from Blood Moon. Big damage coming up at the Soros' way. Wow, wow. It probably would have died. It actually would have died if it weren't for the elemental power. Crazy. Ooh, but the Apatosaurus does get the swap out. Red Bean getting the next hit on the board. An even contest so far. Right, Paris, let's see what you got. Okay, yes, it's time for Blood Moon to attempt the swap. Ooh, that's a tie. Well, you know what that means, don't you? Burning Dash gets triggered again. Oh, look at that, going straight for Burning Dash. Oh, but he doesn't get it! Ooh, I was close, I thought he clicked paper for a second then. Blood Moon doesn't get the Burning Dash, the T-Rex goes down. And that's a moral victory for Red Bean Ice Cream. 
Oh, Blood Moon might be in a bit of trouble here. Ty. Well, it's mostly been the T-Rex doing the work, but Deinonychus has stepped up when needed. A dynamic galaxy. Attack boost coming as well. Paris going to get smothered there. Oh, a decent amount of damage as well. The attack boost. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. I don't think Paris is going to get the swap. No, nope, down she goes. And it is secret on secret. And Blood Moon back in the lead. Oh, hello. We got a seek we got an Apatosaurus move. Actually, I think we haven't seen this at all. Can it kill the Deinonychus? I think it can because it's lethal type. Oh, look at the Deinonychus. It's like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, he killed it! Red Bean Ice Cream gets his win in this, in this tournament. It's not going to save them. They're still going out. But at least you finished on a high. And at least you got a win against Blood Moon, who has been in really good form in this tournament. And as for Blood Moon, well, they won't lose sleep over that. They're already through. They got second place. Right, that concludes the group stage, ladies and gentlemen. So, we can have a look at how the last 32 round shapes up, and how Group H has finished. So, yeah, that's it for the group stage. And here's how Group H has finished. We have Dragon Destroyer, 5 out of 5, 16 points. Blood Moon in 2nd place, 11 points. Shindominus climbing up the 3rd on 8 points, and Aster in 4th. And then we got these two poor saps out of the tournament. So let's have a look at let's have a look at our last 32 round, shall we? So yeah, that is the last 32 round, ladies and gentlemen. All the matches ready. We will see Khalid going up against Blood Moon. And then Silver Knight's a daunting ask against Dragon Destroyer. Try going up against Asta. And then Dino Hug taking on Shin Dominus. Wow, that is going to be really a really intense last 32 round. Um, matches that stand out to me at the minute. I'm I'm really intrigued upon this bracket by here. Um, this bracket down here could be competitive. You know, Chain Knights, Black Beauty. You were you know one of my picks to be a dark horse, Black Beauty. Now I've actually done the group stage. We're gonna have a look at where everyone is, and yeah, these two could be dark horses. Black Beauty could be a well, any, anybody could win it now. It's knockout. But yeah, from what I've seen so far, these two could be dark horses. Black Beauty, Chain Knights. But I do have a suspicion that the winner is gonna come from this side. I'm not saying it because I'm in on this side, but yeah, this side does seem to have more of the heavyweights. We have Ultimate and Diddy Darius. We have Maastrician who's been in strong form. Blood Moon in strong form as well. Broxy, we got our host Stranger Gamer. Arctic Warriors Man. Whereas opposed to this side, you've only really got these three, if you really think about it. Mm, well, Gozzi as well, I suppose. And then you've got Dro Drogon. I forget about Drogon. It's going to be a really exciting last 32 round. And how I will do this, it'll be four videos per session. So we'll start with these four and then this lot. And, you know, you, you get the rest. Some really tasty matchups and some really exciting possible matchups in the future as well. So up here, for example, we could have Ultima Dino King against Blood Moon. We could have Khalid Iron Dan. Well, yeah, we could have uh, Chain Knights against Dino Hug. We could have Dino Hunter going up against Try or Drogon going up against Try. Really intriguing matches to look forward to. So, yeah, that is it for the group stage. So I hope you enjoyed. Commiserations to everyone that didn't make it this far. And until the last 32 round begins, ta-ta.